Well, new at 10, we don't think twice about going to a doctor's appointment or a meeting at work, but for the deaf community, it can be a challenge. Yeah, for those kind of one-on-one -on -one meetings, deaf people have to have an ASL certified interpreter who helps translate sign language into English and vice versa. But recently, there's been a shortage of these interpreters, creating a huge impact within Lubbock's deaf community. KMX Page Broso spoke with members of the deaf community about the shortage and joins us in studio tonight. In the past year, Lubbock lost eight ASL interpreters, and without them, the deaf community is left without trained professionals to help them navigate through the hearing world. And although there are technological advancements like video remote interpreting, the deaf community says it's not the same and can present more challenges. Now the community is hoping this big problem they face will soon be fixed. It's not easy to get two toddlers to sit still for a photo. There's lots of commotion that comes with it between the flashes the talking, and even some tears, it takes a pro. Monica Bartles has been a photographer for seven years, so she knows how to handle the craziness. And although she sees it all around her, she can't hear it. I rely on just gesture and most of you know, common sense type of things. Monica is deaf, and recently, due to an interpreter shortage, she's been left without a voice, too. But sometimes the interpreter is not available to come. There's just no one at all to find. It doesn't impact her work, but she needs an interpreter at things like doctor's appointments and parent-teacher meetings. It was two or three weeks prior to this parent meeting, and I got there, and I'm sitting there, and there's no interpreter. She says she's frequently told there's no interpreter available, even though the office or school tries to find one leaving her in the dark about what's being said and not able to express what she's thinking. Yeah, I feel left out. It's, it's dehumanizing. Even deaf kids feeling the effects in school. But she felt that was a big challenge. There was no interpreter available to sub and she can't hear what's being said. And so she's felt lost. Veronica and her nine-year-old daughter, Chloe, are both deaf. Chloe goes to Overton Elementary, where LISD focuses their deaf education programs. She says recently, when an interpreter is sick, there's been no one to fill in and interpret for her daughter. And the school district definitely needs more people who can sign ASL. LISD says they try to retain the best interpreters in Texas, but say in a statement that, quote, many choose to work for private agencies who are able to offer flexible hours and pay a higher hourly rate. That makes me feel down. Um, because I'm deaf and I need to have interpreters out in the community too. We can't say, oh, there's just no one. But it's not just school districts in need. All over Lubbock, there's a shortage of certified interpreters. Melissa Hayes is an ASL instructor at Texas Tech and an interpreter. You just heard her voice interpreting for Monica and Veronica. I probably turn down three to six assignments every week. The supply is low and the demand higher than ever, leaving the deaf community in silence. I don't know how to explain it. I get, it's very uh, demoralizing. You feel like you're set aside. Melissa says the problem is lack of proper education programs. For the state of Texas, certified interpreters need 60 hours of class credit and a bachelor's degree in interpreting. Right now, there's only a handful of colleges in the country that offer such a BA program. Hopefully, we'll have our degree in place within two years. Now, Texas Tech is in the process of approving classes and budget to certify their interpreter BA program. We're in a perfect place right now to have this. Really, all of West Texas really doesn't have an interpreter training program. But in the meantime, the deaf community is searching for any help helping hands. If you want to learn more about ASL and the deaf community in Lubbock, there are ways to take free classes and be a part of the conversation. You can find out more on our website, everythinglubbock.com. Oh,